Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to do a quick demo of how you can add some sweetening to your microphone voice on Zoom, on FaceTime, on Google Hangouts, whatever you happen to be doing these days in the pandemic to talk with people at a distance over the internet. Let's make your mic sound even better. So I'm going to feature two Rogue Amoeba apps. The first one is Loopback, which you can pick up at rogueamoeba.com of course. And all you're going to do in here for now, disregard all this other stuff I've got going on, but we're just going to create a mic sweetener pass through device we'll call it and that's it simple you can even quit uh as loop back if you want to i'm just going to hide it for now now in audio hijack i've got a blank session here first of all i want to grab my microphone so in my case that's the scarlet usb i want channel 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 one that's where my mic is plugged into. If yours is plugged into channel two or whatever other device, you might just have your USB microphone right in there. Whatever it is, wherever your microphone is, find it and choose it. This could also be, for example, your MacBook Pro microphone if you wanted to use that. But I don't because I like my much more expensive microphone. So I'm going to use that instead. Now we're going to take a little gander over at the audio unit effects tab here. And don't mind me, I've got a plug-in suite here that's I purchased and that's installed, so RX-8 stuff uh, you don't need to pay attention to unless you have Isotopes uh, RS-8, RX-8 plugin suite, then you can use some of those kinds of things in your Zoom calls if you'd like. But let's go find a parametric EQ, for example, and maybe even a dynamic processor. And then let's also make sure we have an output device. And this is where what you just set up in loopback is going to come in handy. So mic sweetener pass through is where we want it to go. So with the parametric EQ, I could, if let's say this mic, for example, I'm using has a fairly heavy bass presence. So I could maybe drop the mic or drop the mic. <laughs> I could drop the mic and break it because uh, I didn't really say anything that worth uh, dropping a mic, but I could drop the bass frequencies down a bit, maybe in the low end here if I wanted to, just to get rid of some of the low end on a uh, voice call if maybe they're complaining or maybe it's the high end that I need to boost or drop. So that's a very easy way to do that with a parametric EQ. If you want to do more than one, you can add a second one to the chain. And then you can also have maybe a high cut frequency as well up here, for example. The dynamics processor I use is basically to cut off uh, when I'm not speaking below a certain threshold here. And I want it just to like not pick up anything in the room. So somewhere around that minus 60 db but making sure my voice actually comes through so there anything in that red zone is not actually coming through into the processor to the microphone output sorry so that's one way to quickly build in a noise gate basically for your microphone and then it's all getting sent out through mic sweetener pass through here so now let's go over to zoom I'm just going to skip right into the system preferences for Zoom, but in here we should be able to find mic sweetener pass through. And you'll see it's got my audio coming right in there. Away you go. So whatever I do now inside of Audio Hijack, if I add more parametric EQs, if I add a boost, if I added a reverb, anything like that that I add is going to be reflected in my Zoom call or Google Hangouts or whatever kind of audio chat, video chat I happen to be using. Just to note that it won't work if you don't have Audio Hijack running. You don't have to have, have Audio Hijack recording anything, but if I stop this now, then the uh, effect is not working. And it's not, as you can see, it's not sending anything through. And Zoom, for example, in this case, is not actually getting any audio. As soon as I hit this on, then Zoom starts getting the audio and we're all good to go. That's it, just a quick little video for you this time. Feel free to check out more videos on my YouTube channel, of course. I also am running uh, Audio Nerd Mac, Audio Nerd Club, lemonaudio.club. You can check that out for how to become a member and join me in the Discord to ask questions, talk about any sort of video, audio, podcast, live streaming, Mac nerdery that you're coming up against and enjoying or having trouble with and want to talk more with other fellow Mac nerds in the audio, video, streaming, podcasting space. Got to come up with a better acronym for that. But thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a comment if you have other suggestions or questions about videos I should do in the future and tutorials I should do. Uh, thanks for watching again.